So we've got our blouse here, or our shirt. Um, we've got the pins in place, and the front of the shirt facing underneath is going to go underneath the foot. Um, and I've done it this way, so we'll do one and then we'll move them along. And just, just try and manage it so that you've got the least amount of, of like stuff underneath the foot as you can. Um, you'll see here we put a uh, pin in. The pins go uh, horizontally because that's the way the, the buttonholes go. In a shirt um, that, that has a fold back facing, buttonholes always go horizontally because that's the way the pressure goes on the body. Um, as you can see on my shirt, I have a tab on my shirt and on the tab um, front, the buttons always go vertically. So they go down because it just it's just a bit odd to have them going across, they just look a bit dumb. Um, and even though these pull on my fat tummy, um, it still it looks better than having them go across. So uh, position, all I'm doing here is I'm putting the, the, um, the pin in the, needle, uh, in the middle of the foot. So if you push down gently on the position till you get it in position, you see you can see, you can see that the... Um, it's really hard to get a good view. Oh, this. right. So you'll be able to see in the, in the gap that's in the foot, you'll be able to see the pin halfway there. And also um, at the front here, we just want the we want the front of the foot to line up with the fold of the fabric here. Now we don't want you to sew the buttonholes with the pin still in place. So once it's all in place there, we're just going to lift the foot up, um, pull the pin out. Just do one last check and then push down. Now you can mark these with um a pen that, uh, you know, a, dis a, a pen that will disappear with, with water or um, Or light. fade with light, yeah. Yep. If, if you feel that this this is too hard to, for you to, to do, just mark them with some chalk or a pen or something. It, do it does take a little bit of flipping around. You, you really need to make sure you remember to take that pin out, otherwise you'll break the needle. Yeah. And maybe damage the needle. way to do it once you get good at using the machine and confident about lining it up. It is easier to doing doing them horizontally than vertically. I always get sort of lost with where I'm positioning it when it's vertical. All right, so we're going to cut the buttonholes open. The way that I usually do it is with my snips, and I sort of go into the middle of the buttonhole and then just poke it in. And once you've got a hole there, then you just clip to the ends and then turn it around. You just need to be careful you don't cut the thread. Yes. Yep, so just get in close and see. Um, so that's with the snips. You can also use a uh, an unpicker. If you use an unpicker, you need to go in at the end and then come out halfway and then cut that little bit, turn it around, go in at the other end, out through the hole and then that way because what you do otherwise, if you go in at the end and then slice all the way across, there's a chance that you can cut the end of the buttonhole, which, and then there's actually no way of fixing that. Um, just with these snips here. I quite like these snips because they've got a really nice point. So I so do... You might be able to find something like this at um, Spotlight. 
Just and when you first buy them, they're really sharp, so they, they cut buttonholes open really well. Dig it into the middle and then work to each end. Mm, these ones are maybe, those aren't maybe a, sharp a little past <laughs> their prime. They might be past their prime, yes. It's all right. And then on oh, these. Oh, yeah, the bird scissors, they're always good. So again, these are like, these are like little embroidery scissors. Mm. And these don't work at all. They're probably <laughs> too blunt too. <laughs> yeah, so maybe the arm picker or your snips have turned out to be the best thing, Mark. Yeah. So yeah, it's just, um, you need something sharp. And yeah, and something precise. I think that's the main mm. thing. Let me just check. Okay. Oh, I didn't do this one here. This is the front of our shirt. We've done our buttonholes here. And to mark the button positions, what I usually do is just flip the shirt back on itself. And then when you do this, it's, it's more important that the shirt lines up at the bottom than it does at the top because that's just going to fold back anyway. So what I do is match up, match up the bottom here and then match the raw edges, oh not the raw edges, the folded edges of the front here and then just put a, a little dot in with the pencil. I guess I can just see that there. And remember that we've got a one and a half centimeter extension here. So really that, um, when you push that through, it uh, is good if it's 1.5 from the edge. But I think this is really just marking mm -hmm. the position so that when they're buttoned, they'll all you know, button up evenly. So if you just mark those positions there, and then when we come to um, sew the buttons on, then we can check that, um, you know, that that is going down the center front.